Hey guys and welcome back for another video. If you're just tuning in, my name is Ashley and today we're going to be slaying this gorgeous ombre 360 lace wig. Now they did include some goodies in my bag including a rat tail comb and a baby hairbrush. Off camera I went ahead and cut off the excess lace in the back of the wig which is why it looks a little bit different from the last clip. I also adjusted the straps and I opted to not add any elastic to this one because it fits just fine. Now the spray you see me put in is actually an airbrush spray. Lately this has been my favorite lace tint and it makes my lace blend in with my skin almost perfect. I have it in everything I use linked in the description box. I went ahead and cut off the excess lace that was a little bit too long and covered my eyes so that I can see what I'm doing. But I'm not going to cut off the remainder of the excess lace until after I'm done with all of the prep work before I install the wig. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the um, excess lace around the ears and then we're going to go ahead and customize the hairline. Now this one did come pre-plucked but I definitely think it needed a little extra work. If I did not mention I got 18 inches 180% density. Also they did go ahead and bleach all of the knots in the entire front of the wig. Again this is a 360 lace wig so in the back they did not bleach the knots but in the front they did but unless you're going to actually do like a sleek high ponytail it really doesn't make a difference about the back. The texture is body wave and it's Indian Remy hair and I said all of that while I went ahead and <laughs> plucked out the hairline. I do find that it makes it much easier to pluck or tweeze your hairline on a mannequin or a wig head but I was kind of like I don't know sometimes I'm lazy and I just want to do my install on my head but really it does make a difference and it is so much better when you go ahead and do all of these steps on your wig head. So now that I feel like I've gotten everything right I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the remainder of the lace and go ahead and bond her down. We're gonna be using the Gossip Glued Free Spray which if you didn't know is my favorite adhesive. This one is very temporary it's not gonna last because it's not an actual glue it's more of like a spray, free spray, a holding spray, a hairspray, but it works amazing at like temporarily bonding your lace down and looking amazing. So this is what we look like at this point. Sometimes you find that even if you went ahead and customized, you got to go back and re-customize different areas and that's just, you know, the name of the game. So the sideburns are typically the hardest and the most stubborn to get to lay down. I went ahead and added a little bit of more of this free spray using my rat tail comb and just pressing that in after I trimmed it down super short and I'm going to use my blow dryer to seal that in. Now this is the best method unless you're going to actually use glue but glue 100% is the absolute best method. Now I decided not to go too crazy with the baby hair today. I kind of just did two little swoops, one on each side. And by the way, if I did not mention, I am customizing both sides. But I'm just kind of showing you step by step what I do on this side since this one is closest to the camera. And kind of doing the opposite side off camera. Now I trimmed down those sideburns and I feel like at this point I was pretty much ready to go ahead and melt the lace. My favorite way to melt the lace is to go ahead and add my styling strips. I went ahead also and added a scarf on top because sometimes I feel like the styling strips are not tight enough. And this is pretty much what I got. At this point take some, um, what do you call it, alcohol, rubbing alcohol and like a cotton pad and kind of go around and clean that up. I went like a whole week when I didn't have any alcohol in the house and every time I went to the store I got to get some. So I skipped that step but it does make a difference. Now here is a quick shot of the texture of the hair. Again it's a nice body wave texture and it's actually pretty beautiful as is. But you know your girl's gonna customize. So I'm gonna do some wand curls in just a moment. But before we get to that, I'm kind of gonna lay down the crown or the top of the head and just make sure I got rid of any frizz, flyaways, and make sure everything lays super flat. So for the next part, we're gonna curl away from our hair or head or face using our wand curler. This one I get from Amazon. It comes with, I believe, three or four barrels. It heats up super fast, it gets super hot, and it works amazing. I've definitely had more expensive wand curlers in the past, and this one do, does just as good of a job as your 
more expensive ones so I just went around and I just grabbed section by section I held it there for maybe about 10 to 15 seconds and dropped I allowed that to cool while I went ahead and curled the rest of the hair I'm going to do one side on camera as always and the other side off camera but you guys get the drift it does come with a glove because I am known to burn my hands and my arms from these hot tools so make sure that you use your glove and be safe and don't burn yourself also if you want to use a hairspray that will work well as well but I feel like this hair already held a curl just fine I did use my silken sheen um, a few minutes ago in this tutorial and kind of spray it down the hair to kind of give it a little shine and eliminate a little bit of frizz but you know it's all about preference Again, everything that I use is listed in the description bar for you guys to check out, but these were the results. Now, final step and probably one of the most important is to go ahead and add a powder to the parting. Even though the knots are bleached and I tint the lace, I always go on top of the powder as well. Well, sometimes I won't. It just depends on how the lace looks, but you want it to blend with your skin as good as possible, so this kind of helps with that. And now that we're done, I'm going to just use a little bit of a serum to go ahead and pull the curls apart. I kind of like to have a little bit of a serum in my, hair, in my hands to rub it. And this did not make it greasy or weigh it down at all. It may look like I used a lot, but I definitely didn't. And you guys can see those highlights didn't take that curl as well as I would have loved. Nonetheless, the hair is gorgeous. Okay, so this is pretty much the finished look. I went ahead and touched it up in the front a little bit. I don't know what it is, but I kind of just feel like whenever you have like um, processed hair, especially when there's highlights where there's the natural hair texture and then like the bleached or dyed or processed um, texture, you always can tell the difference that the highlight area always is a little tad bit more frizzy. Pretty much the only thing you can really do to combat that is put in moisture, um, co-wash the hair, deep condition the hair, um, you know, add your serums and things like that to combat it. I also find that it a lot of the times doesn't take a curl as well. But again, this one came from RPG Hair. This is a 180% density lace wig. The texture was body wave. Now I kind of felt like it was more pressed body wave than like wet and wavy body wave. Nonetheless, it was beautiful. I just went ahead and added some curls to it because I kind of was just going for a curly look especially with the ombre going on and I think it came together very well it's very complimentary and it's actually a very gorgeous wig also the length on her was 18 inches but of course you can get it longer or shorter based on your liking as far as complaints or like hypes and gripes my only issue really was the fact that the highlights just kind of didn't want to curl the way that I wanted them to they curled but then you know it kind of would drop a little bit faster than the rest of the curls but in the end it came together amazing so again this one came from RPG hair link to this wig and all the details are in the description bar also a link and list of everything that I use to achieve this look don't forget to let me know what you guys think of this look also don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with your friends and as always I'll see you in the next one <laughs>